Why is it the smaller they get, the creepier they get? Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Core Class Iguanas. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up top. Here we have some lovely artwork of Iguanas in his alt mode, up top Transformers Legacy, Legacy Iguanas Transformers. On the side of the box, we have the lovely... Legacy artwork on this side. We have some nice artwork of Iguanas. He is a core class, a class origin, a core class, a class of nucleo, class a nucleo on the bottom. Words, things, and stuff. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Iguanas, one of the core class figures in this first wave of Legacy, along with Hot Rod and Skywarp. But yes, we get a uh, another Pretender, another Pretender reimagining here in this line, and he looks pretty good in my opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his chest, at his noggin. You focus, you focus on that noggin. Oh, that's a beautiful noggin to focus on. But there he is, there is the head sculpt. Very nicely done head sculpt, in my opinion. Very invocative of the uh, the G1 toy there. Nice yellow for the eyes, love the little scaly. Scaly is going on there, on the head. Get the chest there done in red. And that kind of like coppery, bronzy color there on the chest. Then you got his belt. You got some more of that bronzy, coppery color there on the knees. His big old feet. Got some spikes there on his forearms. Again, some nice molded details going on here. Looks quite, quite good. And up the back. Got his little tail. And you got the backpack. I think it's a cool looking backpack, actually. I like how they made this work. I dig it. But there you have that. Now, articulation wise, on the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit, a little bit of wiggly waggly. You can't really look up. You can look down very slightly. Head can rotate, but only but so much before things kind of get in the way. So that's pretty much all the rotation you're going to get. Arms can do a full 360. Of course, the wheels kind of get in the way. Yeah, outward movements. Um, the elbows are on a ball joint, so that's where your rotation is going to be. Uh, and you get a bit over 90 degrees of bend uh, to the elbow, nothing at the wrists. Um, you do have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward that far. Um, you have a little bit of rotation at that ball joint itself. The knees are on a ball joint. Um, you get a bit over 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and you can get your rotation in there as well. And the feet are on a ball joint, they can move up, they can move down, you have tiltage, and you have rotation. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, you do get a little blaster right here, just done in red, with some more of that bronzy, coppery color going on there. The handles are purple. You can see you have a 5mm peg, so your deluxes, your voyagers, your leaders can hold this as well, but you have these smaller pegs, so these little guys can hold it. And you can plug that into his hand like so for pew-pewing, bang-banging, pew-pewing, and bang-banging. Now, Iguanas' weapon, Hot Rod's sword, and uh, Skywarp's weapon can combine to make, you know, a combined sword. Um, I'll show that off when I review Skywarp, but yes, uh, these weapons will be able to combine with one another. Um, why an Autobot's weapon can combine with two Decepticon weapons, I have no idea, but hey, things you can do if you want to do it. And is it Bloosh compatible? Why, yes it is. Yes it is, Blush computer blah. Plug that in. A little bit of a snug fit since you had just little side pieces, but you can get in. You can get that going in there. And there we go, we can get a big old Iguanas. Blush. That's right, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. so, There you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Core Class Hot Rod. Here he is with Core Class Megs. And here he is with his uh, Pretender Buddies, the Power of the Primes Pretenders. 
There, little guys. Very little guys. But hey, there we go. Now we have our little Pretender Decepticon crew. So, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. Is he a robot? The Iguana Man mode? So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to come back here. We're going to open up this section. Then we're going to bring this whole assembly up. You want to push it all the way up until it clicks into place, like so. Then you have these two tabs right here on either side that will go into these two slots here on his chest. Just bring that down and close that up. Just want to bring his arms out a little bit so you can rotate his waist 180. Once you've done that, you want to take this wheel here, swing that forward, and take this wheel, swing it down, and then swing it out like that. Once you've done that, you just want to bring the arms back. You want to rotate the forearms so the spikes are facing forward. And then you're going to bring the arms in. There's this little post here that's going to go into this notch right here in the arms. So just push that in. That'll just kind of thoop itself into place. And then you have this post which will go into his hand. So just get that lined up and plug it in, plug it in. And the second verse, just like the first, just push that in. Make that thoop into place. And plug in that hand. And there you have the front all done. So now for the back, you're going to rotate the leg at the knee. 180 and then rotate the foot 180 and then bring the foot all the way in like that and second verse just like the first just rotate at the knee then rotate the foot bring the foot in then you're just going to bend at the knee and you have a tab right here that'll go into the slot right here in the tail just line that up and tab that into place and then you have this post right here which will go into this port in the bottom of the foot so line that up push that in and there you go. And same thing on the other side. Just bring that leg down. Dab it in. And plug that foot in like so. And there you, there you, there, 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 there. There you go. There you have Iguanas in his alt mode. Oh, jeez. Stand. Stand. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Stand for me. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in your iguanas. Yay! And there he is. He's a little iguana man bike. Um, very reminiscent of his uh, his original uh, toys. You know, inner robot mode, alt mode. Um, but yeah, he is a little iguana man motorcycle. Yay! But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You see the Decepticon symbol right there. Got a little slight bit of paint chippage right there, but that's okay. Get some red. Get lots of purple. Get some nice little tread detailing there on the wheels. Get some detailing here as well. And a whole lot of stuff that we've already seen because this is him just in kind of a weird yoga pose. But hey, it is what it is. I like how the tail serves as the seat. I think that's pretty clever. Oh no. Not too shabby. There's the top, there's the bottom. He does roll. He won't stay up, but he'll roll, as rolling things should. It's good luck keeping him, you know, upright. But you know, hey, things, Iguana Man bikes. Hooray for rolling. Hooray for, hooray, 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 hooray for, hooray for, hooray for rolling Iguana Man bikes. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Core Class Megs, with the Core Class Hot Rod, and again with one of his other uh, little pretender buddies here from Power of the Primes. There they go. No, that's not. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. But one thing that will work: weapon storage. Yes, that will work. Um, you can just take this and plug it right on top. Like so, and have that going on. Things you can do if you want to do it. And could we have somebody writing him? Maybe we could bring in Meg. You know, maybe we could do that. I don't know. The thing, you know, hey. Hey, you know. None of it wants to stand now, but, you know, hey, there we go. You know, again, things. Things we can do. Things we can do. So, <laughs> there you go. 
So there you have Iguanus, a pretender no longer pretending. He just owns it. He owns who he is. Um, but yeah, overall, a nicely done little figure in my opinion. Um, you know, the uh, Iguana Man mode, the Lizard Man mode looks good. The uh, the old mode, I mean, it's just kind of him kind of folded up in a weird yoga pose. But, you know, it, it pulls off the general look of a motorcycle, so I can work with it. But overall, a fun little figure, so... There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other legacy figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Legacy Core Class Iguanas. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. Hey there! No, oh, Iguanas! Been a long time. I I remember you being taller. Well, you know, times are tough, had to downsize. No, oh, yeah, it happens. Did you have someone living inside of you? No, yeah, he moved out, you know. Ah, oh, well that sucks. Well hey, if you missed the experience, you could always live inside Soundwave. You might have some space available. No vacancies. Oh.